Well, good morning, everybody. This is the Evil Clown. I'm back for another morning on the northern coast of the Emerald Isle here in Ireland. This is our finale. Uh, our last day here, well, our last few days here, actually, uh, here on the farm. Uh, I have plans here for today to take the truck in and get it repaired. And that's what I'm sorting out here. I'm going to run in here and do a little uh, tune-up, change the plugs, and we're back. All right. All done. She's looking pretty good. Use a little bit of a fill-up to top off the gas, though. Let's see if we can get out of here and uh, take care of that from our pumps just around the corner. And I think before we do our big trip, we might as well go ahead and do a pretty hefty load as well. Or uh, a hefty wash on this thing and get it cleaned up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's looking a bit scruffy around the edges. And we want it looking pretty good for our road trip. Get it all cleaned up, clean the sides, a little bit of the top. Get her spick and span. Clean the lower rack there. All right. Get the back. That looks good. Get a little bit of this new Holland over here. Let's just see if we've done it. All right. I'm going to have to do something with that equipment. All right, let's get this thing. And the show on the road. So if you see in there, that fertilizer holder needs to go. And before I do that, we need to take a little trip down to the store. And we're going to swap it out and get us something that holds lime and fertilizer. And I'm thinking about uh, I've been eyeing that Vicon, so I think that'll do us. All right. Now we got that done. We need to go ahead and fill up the uh, the sheep. Uh, I saw that they were low on water, so give them just a bit of food, and we're gonna top off the water here and get that take oops, too far. Get that taken care of. There we go. Fill her up. And that should top us off at least for the next day or so uh, before we head out. There we go, looking good. Um, so what I was looking at, oh, another wool pallet dropped there. Um, what I was looking at when I was down in town, uh, went down into the village and went to the travel agency and picked up a ferry ticket. So we are going to take the ferry to our next location. Go ahead and shut this gate here. And since we're done, we are gonna pick back up with Probably that wool. Alright, so this is all set for animals. We need to change this trailer so that we can haul our wool away. There we go. All done. Get all this sorted out. And we'll get it pulled back in there. And let's we'll say we got one, two, three right now. So let's get this wool hauled off. Get it sold. Try to not not knock over all the bales that we've stacked. <laughs> well, not knock them over. A little bit wider. There we go. Now, let's back this thing up. That's better. Come on, get an angle. Turn 
the right way. And indubitably, you got to go the wrong way. There we go. All right. There. Much better. Much better. <laughs> now we got to straighten it out. Allow us to get a good angle on loading these up. in a deck cage. We'll slide it back in there now. At least so we can get it. <laughs> and pick this up so we don't run over the trailer. We'll poke a hole in it. We don't need that for sure. Alright. Still hitting the wall with this the poker on the pointy ends of this bale spike. Alright. I'm going to try to get these Load it up in here. There we go. And hopefully, not cause too much of a fuss trying to get these things loaded up. If I can put them in the right way. Don't really care for these little sides of this small tipper, which is what this thing turns into. I'd rather have that big bale trailer, but eh. It is what it is. I've only got three little bales of wool here, so I think it should do us good enough for what we're trying to load up in it. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Take on it. <laughs> ah, figures. Alright. Let's... Let's just get this other one on. Two in a row here anyways. One of these days I'll learn to load properly. <laughs> I know some of you had commented about uh, my auto load trailer for the bales. And that's because I'm not a very good stacker. Uh, but I did want to attempt to show you that I actually could stack. I just don't prefer to because it takes me way too long. Alright, get on there. Good enough for government work. Without dropping it, let's get it up. Bring it around here. Try not to let it fly off. And there we go. <clears throat> and now you can come on. Ah, that's why I don't like. Got an inside collision, but not an outside collision. That side. Ah, all right, there we go. Now I should be able to nudge it right in there. Ah, no, 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 no. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I just want to nudge it a little tiny bit. There you go. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Wow. That was excruciatingly hard. <laughs> all right, maybe this one will go in much more. And I won't have so many problems. That thing, I, I try to even move it myself, and there's something going on with that uh, that bell that uh, refuses to allow me to put it in there the right way without knocking everything else around. So we're going to load it from the back here straight on, and if I need to, I'll try to turn that thing around. And get three of them in here because this trailer should be plenty enough for three. It looks like it can handle it. I must say. <laughs> All right, there we go. Right in there. And drop. Ah, no, 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 no! Don't come out with it. What are you doing? Stay in there. Lower a little bit and come off. Ah, wow. Painfully difficult. Way too difficult. But at least it's in. Let's get them strapped down. Get these things knocked out. One more. There you go. And last one. Alright. Now we're all set. Let's 
get this thing around here. Drop off those uh, forks and my spikes. And let's get this stuff hauled off to the wool trader spinnery thing, wherever that is. And not hit the side of the barn. All right, the bull trader is this way. I had to look at the map and you guys didn't need to see all that, but let's cruise along here and go at hyper speed, pull out and let's get this wool delivered. Cause that's what you do on old, old sheep farm. There we go, right up here. And it's all the way in the back. Yes. Nope, I still don't know how to back up. Come on. Turn. There you go. Come on, clown. Get it right. <laughs> what a painful effort. Just for three pallets of wool. <laughs> Anyways, she's done. I'm done. Uh, that's pretty much it for the farm. Um, there is one thing I wanted to do. Uh, and I'll show you here when we get back. And that is, since I went out and I already lined the field, and I already fertilized the field, uh, I did all of that uh, in the previous day. Uh, I didn't need to show you again all that going on. It's pretty close. <laughs> Anyways, um, here back at the farm, um, I uh, need to go and purchase a new implement that's going to be our last thing to do here on the farm since I stack up this fertilizer and barn and get everything put away as you notice we cleaned up the yard quite a bit we'll go and check the uh, animals here and I think we're doing pretty well yep good times good times and uh, we'll kind of leave it right there and tomorrow I'm gonna pick right back up where we left off. All right, everybody, bright and early here, back on the farm here in the northern coast, and we are heading down to the shop, and we are going to pick up our last implement for our series here on the farm. And as soon as I pull up here to the shop and uh, get situated, we're going to jump through and you're going to see what new toy I bought, or I will buy, right there. It is our potato planter and our harvester. So, well, I actually did already plant all the potatoes and I went through all of the crops and all that after I lined the field and everything, but I didn't show you guys the actual field, uh, what it was planted. Uh, I actually didn't record all that. <laughs> uh, my mistake and my fault, uh, but it's, it had been several days that had passed and I finally got our crop in and I wanted to finish off uh, by doing kind of the national crop, if you will, of what everybody thinks of as the crop of Ireland potatoes um, and that kind of goes back to 1845 uh, Angorta Moor uh, which means the great hunger the great potato famine of uh, you know, the Irish potato famine of the 1840s and I think it lasted like seven years uh, I want to say and it was because of some blight like some kind of infected growth or something mold or something on the potatoes and uh, because at the time all the landowners uh, didn't really grow the crops all the uh, farmers the peasants uh, you know were all Irish tenant farmers and so they lived on the Lord's land Laird's land whatever you want to call them um, and they grew the major crop and the main staple of the Irish people at the time was potatoes because it was really cheap. It was a root crop of like sugar beets or 
potatoes and um, it, you know turnips and things like that and uh, it was really easy to grow and it could support the massive population at the time and so when 1845 hit um, there was this big blight that caused uh, a huge famine in Ireland and what most Americans may or may not know is that what you know besides the million deaths that occurred in Ireland um, at the time and, and you were saying you know we're talking 1840s here so there probably weren't but you know five or six million people in the world and a million of them lived in Ireland and a million died you know a lot of people this was a huge impact to the world at the time uh, when it didn't have as much of a population um, and you got to think back to those times in 1840s, 1850s, as we uh, unload our, our first row of crop here into the, uh, the trusted old Bailey. Um, yeah, they didn't have a lot of choice. And so they either died from starvation itself or died from the symptoms of malnutrition because uh, as tenant farmers, they, had, they grew the cheapest crops that could be, uh, you know, basically they, they fed the masses of population on the cheapest crop they could, which at the time was potatoes, and so it was a staple food uh, for their diet. And so uh, with not only the deaths occurring, the million people, um, at the time, uh, a lot of people got out of Ireland, and one of the main places that uh, Irish immigrants traveled was to the U.S., so that's why there is a huge population, almost a million people, Irish peasants and settlers, migrated to the North American uh, areas, you know, and, and including Canada, upper northeast of America, all over the place. They all migrated to North America, mainly America, but you know, there, there's a lot of places here and there that they went that. Um, yeah, they, they just migrated too, and that's why you had great population migrations and how it impacts, uh, how those are impacted by climate and by famines and things like that in the world. And so as you see me kind of harvesting the crops, I wanted to talk about a little bit about that, and give you guys a little bit of Irish history in case you didn't know. I know a lot of people that have watched this are, are Irish uh, themselves, like Shaving Man, and I wanted to call them out and say, uh, Thanks for uh, watching the channel, and please subscribe, everybody. Go out and check out their channel. They're, they're, they're good farmers, <laughs> and he knows how to drive, <laughs> which unfortunately I'm not very good at, especially on these small fields, trying to get around in here. So I'm going to go through this whole um, crop, uh, eventually kind of cleaning up this whole area, if I could ever get the, the, the thing straight, the uh, 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 harvester, so that I can actually uh, farm all of these potatoes the correct way. Uh, I'll have to do a lot of cleanup in this field, as like I said, I'm not great at driving, but you know, I, I don't ever claim to be the best driver in, some, in farm sim like some people, so, <laughs> and y'all know I'm talking about <coughs> frontwards or backwards, I never make that claim, for sure. Um, I can I can barely keep it straight as it is so um, yeah I'm gonna go through several iterations here and you should see I clean out more of the field more of the field um, I think uh, this is going to top up this Bailey load and we are going to run to the sale point and I think our best price at the time of this filming is going to be coastal grains and we're going to make a hop up there and drop off uh, this load of potatoes and see what our prices look like and what our profit was on this potato field. But you'll see me go through here, get this dump gone, tip it out. All right. Looking good. Now, I did notice something weird about this trailer. Um, as you'll see here in a minute that it'll get so far in the dump process and everything will be going good and then it starts coming down 
but at the same time, it's not actually fully unloaded. You gotta go through several iterations of unloading the unloading process because the animation is running, but yet there's still crops in the back. So, yeah, eventually it gets all done. And I'm gonna validate here and sync, make sure we're completely empty. But uh, yeah, finally, <laughs> she's empty. Um, that's the one thing I notice about this trailer is uh, we finish hauling the next full load up and drop it off at Coastal. Our profit's now uh, one what, 170, so we're gonna probably make another almost 20,000 on this, close to it. Maybe 18. But I did notice that on these trailers, and I think that they they, they are good trailers, they haul a lot, uh, but you just have to be wary of the animation sequences and things happening when you uh, you try to unload and make sure that you go through the, the full process so you don't take off before <laughs> you've unloaded completely. As you'll see here, um, we kind of run almost into the same problem as I, uh, I found. It starts to shut down, but there's still potatoes there. So I'm going to back up, finish off this load. That should be all she wrote. There we go. Now I think she's all empty. Yep, all good. And we'll head back and see if we can't pick up another load without running into the building. <laughs> all right, load number three coming back in. We're at 184. Not bad, not bad. See if we can get this one done. All right. There we go. take us up 200,000 here come on you can do it keep dumping keep dumping keep going keep going there's more there's more get them all more more more, more. come on all right looks like that's it finally so 201,000 and we're empty Phew, yeah, so this is the last of it. I'm going to run through this clip real quick, and we are going to polish off the rest of the potatoes from this field, and I think we're going to call it almost an episode. I've got uh, one more thing I want to do, and I'm going to leave that for last, and I've intentionally tried to hide what I'm doing, so you don't see until the end here as I finish cleaning up these crops real quick. And this, uh, just to let you know, this potato harvest was extremely painful. It's a fairly large field for potatoes, and it took me probably a good real life three hours to get all this done. Um, j just because this, uh, the potatoes are very hard to do and very of trying to use this harvester uh, to make sure you get uh, all of the crop and get everything sold off and get squared away. There we go. I think we're done. Uh, might be a little bit left in the ground here and there. Oh, there's a bit there I missed. Let's see if I can swing it around there. Nope. All good. There's a little bit here on the side. All right. This should be it. This is uh, the last of the haul for the series and for Ireland. So we are going to kind of close it out here in a sec. We're going to run back and we're going to make our big dump for the night. And we're going to drop. Yeah, I know you. My phone. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, <laughs> hit the building while we're at it. 
Oh, that's going to scrape up the trailer really well, isn't it? There we go. All right. Look at that. Only two dumps and it works. That was perfect drop. As perfect as you can get in this daily trailer. <laughs> And I didn't even hit a car. I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. Believe me. <laughs> Some of the first uh, first driving up. Oops, still ran off the road. So the first driving episodes, I was all over the road. But I'm doing better in this one. And we're going to kind of close out here. i show you the last of the field. All cleaned off. We're going to close our gate here for the final time. And say goodbye to our one and field that we used here on the northern coast. I'm going to head down and take a last look at the yard. There's our sheep. Bye. We did grow one sheep, so kind of set out the objective there, completed that. Uh, we did uh, a little bit of straw bailing from our first load. We did a little bit of hay right there from our grass field. We got rid of most of our wool and we fed our sheep sheep are all still filled up with food and water and cleanliness is good so we're all set there and next step is right out here to the back of the field my surprise I've been holding on to uh, is all of our implements so I loaded everything back up here in the back here's our McCormick our tiny little tractor from Ireland that uh, we started out with and kind of tra traded in the fence for our new Holland, our cheddar, our mower, front mower. Here's our combine we started with. I actually didn't change that. Here's our coon sprayer that we never actually used. Here's our Cavern one uh, plow that they recommended uh, because that was in use over here. Our plow, our Vicon, Vicon that we traded out, our Amazon drill we didn't use our mm, our i4 trailer our bale trailer of course fleet, my auto load of course <laughs> our bailey trailer good old bailey loaded pretty well and our bailey bowser which held all of our water and could hold fuel if we needed to and then finally going it off here with our grim harvesting our potatoes I actually only leased the planter so I didn't keep it and we're gonna finish off here with our uh, our forks New Holland of course and our main tractor the T6 here great little tractor um, good turning radius and things like that kind of a weird wheel axle but other than that that's pretty much what she wrote on the farm here and I kind of want to give you guys a last tour and look at the implements of Ireland We'll close up and we are going to head over to our truck. The yard's pretty well cleaned up. I wanted to leave it for our, our uh, great patronage here of the, uh, the family that left and went on holiday for got on the wrong side tonight, stupid American. <laughs> Got to get on the driver's side there, buddy. You're in Europe now. Come on, clown. All right. So, uh, yeah, they, they left us the farm for a few weeks while they went on holiday to the Bahamas, from what I hear. Um, and so here I am taking care of uh, what I can to learn of things while I can. Let me go ahead and shut the old farm gate here from the last for the last time and keep everybody from uh, getting into the farm when they're not supposed to be. Almost did it again. <laughs> So used to getting on the American side of vehicles. All right, uh, we'll stop here for real quick and have a glance over at the uh, the farmhouse where we stayed while they were out. And there she is. Must have been nice having a, a nice Bahamas trip during Christmas. Go up here to the top of the road, and I think I'm going to pull over um, when we get up here. To the, towards the top of the hill so we can kind of see the map a little bit uh, you got to see uh, everything speeding through as we did um, uh, 
going from place to place, you know, here and there, and I wanted to make sure I stopped and uh, just kind of took a, a screenshot of uh, the map and Ireland itself and look at the coast and this nice little pleasant valley where everything's uh, looking great. Great Irish countryside. I hope you guys enjoyed this map. Um, we're going to finalize the tour down here in the village as we go past the shop. But uh, yeah, this is a great map. If you guys like doing, uh, doing European maps or you want to try it out, even you know us Americans that uh, don't have a clue and can't drive on these small roads, uh, remember, stay on the left-hand side. Always look right before you turn so you don't cream somebody or pull out in front of somebody. All right, and we'll get past the shop here. We'll wrap it up. It's a, a small, uh, quick tour of the village right before we head out. And I wanted to see a little bit down to, I didn't really get a chance to uh, visit the village very much, so. I wanted to kind of take you guys through the village itself and see what's uh, what's down here all together. There's a little bit of the, the wharf and the waterfront here. And let's make our turn. There we go. Not hit you. There we go. <laughs> stay, stay off the curb there, clown. Wow. It does have an active map. You know, guys walking around. Ped oh, pedestrians. Pay attention. There we go. There's a little side road. More see more village stuff in there. We're gonna come up here on Union Grains, which uh, we frequented when we uh, emptied our silos out. And you got to see the other uh, the farm, the cow farm over there. Over here we've got uh, the dairy. And when I first looked, I thought it was actually a woolery, but the wool place, but uh, we actually found that clear at the top of the map. And then here's our uh, animal dealer, uh, right here, just backing into the end of the corner there. And here's our little uh, cut through road, our dirt path, if you will, right by the creek, it's a loud, very loud creek. <laughs> uh, that's the only one issue that I had probably on this map was that super loud creek. Uh, as far as sounds and things like that go. So uh, let's get in here and uh, buy us some crisps uh, before our trip and make sure we're topped up on gas because we got a pretty lengthy drive to get to the ferry. So we're going to close it out here. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I'm going to run to the shop here and I'll be right back out, guys. Here's a quick look at the town. I'll be right back out. See you in a bit. All right, here we go. We're off to the races. We're gonna wrap up here and pull out, nothing coming. All right, Ooh, off the curb, off the curb, there you go. <laughs> Thanks to the signs there. I'll wait on this car. Oh yeah, kind of see our, our point here and we're going to head north and we're going to follow the coastline up before we get our cut through road. And I think that's pretty much going to call it a, uh, a night for us um, and a series as we close, get on the right side of the road. There we go. Uh, this is the evil clown out of here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Come back on our next trip.